I'm Nate with the BMW blog, and I just arrived in Seattle, Washington, which is the final destination for the 2024 Mini Takes the States. And for the last leg of this adventure, I've been able to drive the all new 2025 Mini Cooper S. Now the final leg of this road trip took us from central Washington up over the Cascade Range, past Mount Rainier, and dropped us down into Seattle through some of the best winding roads in the Pacific Northwest. And that gave me a great opportunity to test out this Mini Cooper S on some exciting mountain roads. This Mini features a two liter twin power turbo engine with 201 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque. With this engine variant though, I do notice around town that there is a little bit of lag to get up to speed in the normal mode. If you put it into go-kart mode, it is a tad bit peppier. Um, it's not twitchy by any means like the John Cooper works, but it is a little bit quicker up to those speeds. Where this car really shines is its handling because it definitely has that classic mini feel. I feel low to the ground. I feel like the car has plenty of room to work with in the lane. It handles incredibly well. We noticed it cornered very flat on the mountain roads today. Now, not quite as stiff as the John Cooper works and you will get a little bit of bounce on some city roads but it does feel a little bit stiffer than most, but it's a little sports car, right? It's supposed to have fun like this. Though you do feel a lot of the larger bumps, it is very nice when you get out on the mountain roads. Today, when we were cruising up around Mount Rainier, the car handled fantastically. It felt planted, it felt precise, and it provided awesome feedback on the corners. It feels really good. I do like this suspension but because this is on 18 inch wheels, it provides plenty of tires so that it's not very harsh. And in combination with the firmer suspension setup, it provides a great balance between daily driving and performance. Now, one thing I did notice is on some roads, the tires did produce a lot of road noise. And if you were on a long road trip, that could be quite distracting and just a little bit annoying. Now this does have a seven speed Steptronic dual clutch transmission, but it is missing the flappy paddles. So not as fun. This transmission is quite smooth. And though it is not the fastest shifting transmission out there, it does provide enough feedback for it to be enjoyable. I just wish it had some paddles, especially on the mountain roads today. It could have really used some paddles. One thing I have noticed after driving the John Cooper Works Countryman yesterday is this one feels just a little bit more subtle on everything. The John Cooper Works felt just a, maybe a tad bit twitchy. The throttle was a little bit more sensitive. The steering was a little more sensitive. The brakes had a little bit more bite right at the top. This just tones things down a bit. The steering wheel is a bit vague. It does have good feel and it's very accurate. There's no slop to it but it doesn't provide a lot of feedback of the road. Now, the brakes, I think, feel a little bit better than a John Cooper works. Now, those brakes performed very well because they are six piston, but what I found was it was a little bit touchy at first, where this has a good solid feel throughout its pedal throw. Now, one feature of the new minis that I've really come to enjoy over the last couple days is this circular OLED display. It is fantastic. Even though I got the sunroof wide open, it is a very bright day. I can clearly see the display with very minimal glare. It's so easy to read. It's in a perfect position to reach up and touch. And it goes great with the head up display, which mimics its look with a circular display on there as well. Now, one thing I've really enjoyed about the head up display is that it's in a very nice location. 
it's not too high, it doesn't distract me, yet it's not too low to where I'm having to actually like pan down to see. It's right in my field of view, which allows for a very quick glance and provides information right where I want it to be. And just like the mini John Cooper Works Countryman that I drove yesterday, the steering wheel is very similar. It's got a small diameter to it. It still has a lot of heft to it, which is nice, so it really fills up the palms of your hands. And it's got a really cool third spoke, which is like tensioned fabric, which I'm not sure what it does, but it, it definitely looks cool. And I know I mentioned this OLED display and the steering wheel. The interior though, just in general, is a great place to be. It's very bright in here. Uh, somehow in this tiny little Cooper, they have two sunroofs and it just provides so much light in here. So much that I've been struggling with my camera to get the right lighting. It's just so bright. These seats are also fantastic. Now I'm six foot two and fairly broad, but I fit in these seats really well. There's plenty of back support, a lot of good side bolster to it. And the only thing it seems to be missing would be some leg extenders. Since I am so tall, that has a tendency to leave my legs just kind of hanging off and not providing that full support under my thigh, which I really like in the BMWs. And this sums up the new Mini Cooper S. It is a balance. It is a balance between performance and comfort. It has enough performance to have fun with on mountain roads, but doesn't push that envelope like the John Cooper were. Now it's still comfortable though, which allows you to have it as a daily driver if you want, and to be able to just go up in the mountains to enjoy that performance, or canyon roads, whatever you'd like. Now, one thing I do notice is that at $37,000, it's got a lot of competition in that price range, but I think those who love the Mini brand will feel that it's a good value and a good iteration of the Mini Cooper. Now today I've driven this on mountain roads and city streets, and I will have to say that this is a great little car. I had a lot of fun. It carves, it cruises, and it's just a Mini Cooper. Exactly what you would expect. Fun to its core. Let's motor.